over here riding on 9J south. Uh, actually, it was supposed to be on 20, which would have been further west, but I made a wrong turn somewhere. And I ended up over here. I ended up in Albany, basically. So, I don't know. I don't know what I did. I couldn't really tell you. But, um, I ended up, uh... <laughs> So you know what, I'll just take 9J down. I could take 9J or 9W, so I figured I'll just take 9J. I've, I've never really taken, I've, no, I've never taken 9J down. I've taken 9W many a times, but never 9J. So. And uh, it looks to be an interesting road. There's really not many people on here. It's me and this car and another car in front. Yeah, so it's not bad. Pretty much uh, hooked all back roads all the way down, which is pretty fun. I got into Albany and I stopped and I was like, wait a minute, where? I was like, how the heck did I get into Albany? I was supposed to be running 20 down to 23, but somewhere I just, I don't know, went the wrong way. I probably should have. I think I know where, where it said 20 south. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't go 20 south. I went the other way. That's not what I should have done. So, live and learn, right? turn is all bumpy. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of little ruts on it. It's outside of this lane actually, not the inside. The inside is good. The outside is it's got a little ruttiness to it, which is kind of weird. But uh farmhouse there, but, you know, he cut his grass, jeez, that looks crazy, that's the river over there, <laughs> looked away a little too long, man, look at that over there, that's pretty beautiful, really beautiful sight over there, straight off that way, Making my way down. Speed drop? Yep, it did. Gotta watch that. Anyway, it's just making my way down and touching base just a little bit. 9J is, seems like a fun road. Pretty fun. W will be on the other side of the river, basically. Ooh, what the 
help. Yeah, you know, I was saying to somebody earlier, uh, one year I would like to get to Laconia. Uh, just to check out their bike week and uh, ride around. It's funny, I told myself I wouldn't do many demos this year. And what do I, I ended up doing quite a few. But I, I did some sightseeing, which was nice. And I had some fun. So, you know, that's what counts. I had a good time. I really don't remember the last time I went to America and didn't have a good time though. Think about it. So and that's what counts. That you have fun. Yeah, so I would like to check out Laconia just to see what you know just to see what it's about uh gentleman i was speaking to he was like yeah you know it's it's a little different from america he said it's a little bit more rowdier i guess you could say and uh there's a bit more uh club presence so but uh you know i i want to sightsee ride around and sightsee more than likely i would camp again most definitely that would seem to make the most sense to do most logical sense anyway is to camp because for me to camp was oh man well, damn did I hit a person for me to camp was uh, 50 bucks tax and everything included 50 bucks for me to camp and uh, usually when I would get a room if I got a room, it would be, shoot, almost a hundred bucks for one night. So, that's a, that's a pretty big difference. I think I smelled weed. I don't know. Anyway, that's a pretty big difference, man. You know? So, for two nights, that have been 200 bucks. Whereas I only paid 50 bucks, tax, everything included, two nights. You know, I go to a hotel, I pay 100 bucks. That doesn't even include the tax. You still gotta add that on. You know? So, I don't know. I took that extra money, I spent it on some food, got some ribs, some fries, you know. Uh, what I got the ribs? I got the food, uh, I think I had with the ribs, I forgot. They're so good, I forgot. Man, they were good. Them ribs are good, man. Man, just had some good food over here at Smokey Joe's Saloon and Grill. Every time the wife and I come here, man, I tell you, good food, man. I mean, it's like really good food. Good food, good service, really nice people. I mean, and good food. You know, stuff that you ain't supposed to be eating. Good food. That's what they got here, man. So if you you up here, you want to get some food, man. Smokey Joe's Saloon and Grill. That's it right there. That's where it's at. Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was that, that was pretty good. Next day, I went back. I got I got a, a, a burger there. Uh, so I said I said to the waitress, her name was Kaylee. I said, how's, how's the, how are the burgers here? She says, oh, she's like, oh, the burgers are great. You got to try them. I'm like, oh yeah, all right. Sure, the burgers are great, okay. So, mind you, the night before I went to another place, I had a burger and I, and I had it in a bun, tasted like it was kind of stale. Like the bun has been sitting around for, I don't even know how long, you know? And I was like, what the heck? I was like, what the heck is this? So, anyway, man, it smells like weed around here. The next day, you know, so I, I come here, she says, she says, yeah, I mean, all burgers are great. You know, you should try, you should try one. Yeah, I recommend the burgers. I said, all right. You know, she's saying that, you know, but let's see. Let's see how the burgers are. 
And let me tell you, I got the burger. Oh, it's a nice Yamaha. I got the burger, man, and I was impressed. Oh my God, the bun was so soft. I told her I, I wanted my burger medium well, because you know that's how I like my burgers. I don't, I don't. I mean, well done is fine, but I'm not. I used to be a well done guy, but I'm not really a well done guy anymore. You know what I mean? I kind of like it. Uh, I'm I'm pretty good with being medium well now because the meat isn't just cooked all the way or overcooked. Sometimes you get you get uh, well done and, and the meat is like overcooked and you're like, well, dude, what the hell is this? You know, this shit is freaking overcooked, man. Like, what the hell is going on here? You know? So, yeah, I like medium well now. And anyway, so I got the burger and oh my god I took a bite and I had to sit back because the burger was so freaking good like it was just the burger was just that good I had, I had to sit back because I said oh my god the freak oh my god the burger the burger is good too oh lord you know and the wife and I we went there like two years ago when we went to America and, and um And we were really happy with the food that we got. I mean, we were, when I say really happy, I mean, we were really happy with the food that we got. Impressed with it. Loved it. Man, we were happy. So I said, you know what? Yeah, this is where I'm going. So I went there two days in a row. The two days that I was there. I went there Thursday. I went there Friday. And uh, man, it was good food, man. I mean, just freaking impressive. And I'll put a picture of the place up here. Um, it's a barbecue, barbecue pit, but there's actual name for it. I forgot the name right now. Anyway, um, yeah. So when so when Kelly comes to the table, I tell her, I said, Kelly, is there anything that you guys make that isn't good? <laughs> and she started laughing. And she's like, Yeah, we. I hear that. She's like, Man, I hear that all the time. Yeah, man, I was like, man, I was like, Kelly, I was like, that burger was so lambing. Whoa, man. And I told her, I said, yeah, you know, I went somewhere else for a burger last night, not for nothing. And the only reason why I ate it all was because I paid for it. So, take that for what it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, so long enough for me yapping on. Uh, I'm going to see you guys later. Take care, stay safe. And uh, let me know how you guys like your burgers. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, all right. See you later.